Welcome back to the channel, you big bass lovers. Um, this has been a long time coming. I've had my eye on this reel for a while. AliExpress kind of lowered the price down on it. I've been wanting to try Tranks for my swim bait. Just, just, just want to give it a try. Just so I can say I tried it. Uh, but this is basically the exact same thing, but better. But AliExpress had this for the same price the Tranks is. I got two of them. Because I'm pretty sure I'm going to like them for the price. You couldn't hardly beat it. Pull this bad boy out of here. And here you go. Scorpion MD 300 XGLH. What the LH stands for is long handle. Um, so, the same tranks like this cost about $400. This on AliExpress cost two, I think 210 or 220 something like that. Somewhere in that ballpark, but you get the idea. Um, so, if you're willing to go on AliExpress and you're willing to wait, this, this took a week and a half to get here. Um, things are coming a lot faster from there. And you can get some really good deals. What else is in the box? You get... Um, I have never seen a Shimano combo. I'm pretty sure that's a little wrench. It has to be a little wrench. It has to go... We'll see it in a second. Let me I'll finish up the reel in a second. You get... That's your brakes. Anything else in here? Anything. Wow, sorry about that, guys. The box came up and popped the camera and took y'all down with it. So there's no oil in here. So, all right, so we got a wrench, some brake pads, and the scorpion. Does not feel as smooth as I thought it was going to feel. Nice positive drag star clicks. Uh, your spool tension doesn't click. But I know it doesn't click on the tranks either. For whatever reason, mainstream doesn't think that we need clicking spool tension knobs unless you spend five, six hundred dollars. Um, man, what does this do? It just like, feels like it's locked down now. That spool tension knob puts a lot of pressure on. Good grief. Yep. Okay, so now let's take a look at the brakes. So here goes Joey and Shimano. This is what I was saying about one of the other videos. You have to make sure what you're looking at. If it's not something you know that Shimano makes, don't buy it. Because if you know it's not a reel that Shimano makes, it doesn't look anywhere near what Shimano does, then it's not Shimano. Or it's not Daiwa. It's some kind of crap. Okay, so it's using basically the standard centrifugal brakes. This is a big, beefy reel. It has monster, uh, monster drive in it. It's made for throwing big baits. Um, and that's what I got this for, is throwing big baits. Um, I still love I still love my piece of funds, don't get me wrong. I just want to try something else. I might end up selling these, I'm not even sure. Just want to see, because, wow. Just messing with that, man, like it's like grind feeling in it. Let me see what I got going on. Don't tell me it's that temperamental. No. There's a lot of grease in the bearing, but there's nothing jumping out at me that is giving off any kind of I'm not going to do good vibes. Okay, it smoothed up a lot just then. I don't know what I did the first time I took the side plate off and put it back on, but it did not like it. This is a 7.9 to 1 gear ratio. 
Um, I forget how many bearings this has. Let's take a look at the box here. Um, there you go. Seven, nine to one. Um, I don't know what that, seven, 8.4 to eight. Okay. I think it has seven bearings. Um, let's see. Okay. I mean, anytime you're dealing with the Japanese market, this is a JDM reel. It's going to have stuff that you can't read. So let's just see if it says it on here, if it's all in Japanese as well. Um, that appears to be a negative. I haven't went to my Mandarin class. I haven't took a Japanese class. So. All right, sir. I'm going to link this down below so you can look at it for yourself. But I am not sure what... Some of that stuff here. Anyway, I am pretty sure that this has seven. It's just like the tranks. It's just like the uh, tranks, the tranks style, I think 300 tranks. Now, what does this wrench go to? Does this wrench go to take off the side? I think it goes to take these little things, take the, the handle off. Let's see, there we go. I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure. Oops, sorry about that. Then it goes on here. Yep, that's to take these off. Okay. So now we go. Tighten this back down. This is my first time dealing with the Shimano uh, baitcaster this big. I've got several other Shimanos you've seen from my videos. Um, I've always been a dial guy. And then for part of my tournament's life, I was I went to lose. And then I took a little bit of hiatus from tournament fishing and... Um, Kind of had a bunch of crap happen. My wife was in school, and it was just different thing, different times. And Lou's went from trying to support the local tournament guy to supporting goofballs that do crazy crap on YouTube. Anyway, let's see how much this puppy weighs. I'm thinking it weighs 9.2. No, 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 8.8. Shit, that was awful big time. 11.3, wow. I guess I'm better at guessing really light reels. 11.3, let's, let's zero that out again. Let's try it again. 11.2, okay. <laughs> it don't matter, it's still, well, that's a still heavy ass reel. Um, probably gonna put this on uh, my big Amiga rod. Uh, well, several big Amiga rods. Um, just cause I'm curious and I do this with all of my reels, we'll see just how much this spool weighs. Just so we know, ah, dang it. I knocked the camera over again. I'm sorry about that guys. Hope you guys don't think I've been drinking. <laughs> well, actually I have, but it's beside the point. I didn't drink that much. But here we go. Okay, she's a zero now. Uh, I'm going to say anytime you have your ABS braking on here, it's going to cause it to weigh a good amount more. And let's see here what we got going on. If y'all can see it with this glare. Wow. She's heavy. 29.83. Like I said, this is a big bait caster. 
This is meant for casting. Um, your big uh, trouts, your big hinkle trouts, your your big mag drafts, um, your big I would say book of burrito. I would I would throw a book of burrito with my other reels. Um, it's meant to throw. Um, all of your big, like your eye slides and things of that nature, your bigger baits, like your two to three ounce category, even bigger than that. But I think it would do really good for that. But I'm going to compare it, directly comparison, to my PC Fun. And I'm going to see if it's worth the extra money from the PC Fun to this. Um, the way I'm feeling about this reel right now, I'm not thinking it is. It doesn't feel as smooth right now as the PC Fun is. It weighs a hell of a lot more. And it's about the, I mean, it's the same size. I mean, they're both 300 size reels. So, we'll see. I'm gonna probably get them out from the rear from the lake and do a side-by-side -side comparison test, just casting them. Uh, I'll probably put Put them on both like-minded rods. Probably, I've got, I think I'll put them both on two big Amigos or I'll put them on two Dobbins or two I-Rods. I'm gonna put them on same and same. I'm not gonna put them on one's got, uh, one, one rod and one's a different rod. Um, it does feel comfortable in the palm, but I have big monster hands, so it's kinda, it's deceptive. I make this reel look like a normal reel. Um, but we're going to get to the bottom of it and see if it's actually worth the money. Um, if you guys like this video, go ahead and hit thumbs up. Uh, pretty soon I'll have a casting on the water with this video, this reel, this, this reel. Um, I'm hoping to have everything done with the house here pretty soon. I know I keep saying that, but. It seems like the more I say that, the more my honey-do list comes up. And I got to take care of that before I can take care of other stuff. Uh, I like having my testicles. Anyway, guys, I'm going to sign off. Like I said, if you liked the video, go ahead and hit the thumbs up on the that down below. If you feel so inclined, if you like what I do, um, I'm starting to get... Pretty good mind people following the channel. I'm trying to get stuff going along. Um, I mean, if you like anything bass fishing, that's kind of, you're like my kind of person. So hopefully I can get out there. Hell, this, I ain't even fished a tournament this year. Now I think about it. I've been so busy with this new house. So busy with trying to get everything situated over here. And for a while, we're in between two houses and going back and forth. Taking, had to take the school, the kids to school like an hour away just to make the difference. They can be in the new school already. Uh, that's enough of my pity party. All right, guys, I'm going to sign off. I really appreciate you. Until next time, tight lines.